Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Texplain, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you can easily fix your screen randomly turning black on Windows 10 or any other version of Windows. So let's get right into the video. Okay, so first off, let's take a look at what could be causing this problem for you. If you have overclocked anything on your PC, I recommend taking a backup of those settings and resetting your overclock settings back to the factory settings. This could be causing a black screen since you have overclocked it too much. So so resetting it back to the factory settings could fix this problem. Now if you don't really want the factory settings, what I recommend doing is taking those overclock settings you already had and just lowering them a little bit until you have that sweet spot that doesn't give you a black screen anymore. Okay, so something else that could be causing this problem is actually a corrupted or a faulty graphics driver. You can fix that by just updating your graphics driver and you can do that by right clicking on your desktop. In my case, I have AMD, just click on it and over here, once you go over onto home, right over here, you will see driver and software. What you wanna do is go ahead and check for any updates, then just click on download and just go through this process of downloading the uh, graphics driver, install it, and reboot your PC and see whether this fixed it or not. Now, if you have Nvidia, this will be different for you. So what you wanna do if you have Nvidia is go ahead and search for um, GeForce Experience, but I don't have it on my PC. But once you open it, there will be a window and just go over onto drivers and uh, updates and just click on check for new updates and just go ahead and go through the installation process of those graphics drivers. Okay, so before we continue with this video, as you guys can see only 0.5 percent of you guys is subscribed to my channel so if you are new to my channel hi my name is Texplain, and on this channel you can find awesome windows tips and tricks and videos on how to fix almost any problem in windows so if you like that kind of content please consider subscribing to my channel so let's continue with the video so once you've done that and you still get a black screen there's some other things that could be causing this problem one of them being overheating so what i want you to do is go ahead and install MSI afterburner and check your temperatures you can do that by just going over onto the download link in the description and once you've installed it you will have this window or it will look a bit different for you and as you can see over here you can see your temperatures now what I recommend doing is while you are playing a game or while you are doing something intensive or just whenever you are using your PC I want you to look at your temperatures take a look at it quite often and if it is any higher than I'd say 90 degrees 90 degrees is already pretty high 80 you want to just go ahead and maybe clean your gpu or just turn up this fan speed and see whether that fix your fixes your problem or not and if you still get a black screen and your temperatures are just fine you can just close out of this and all that just get, actually get into some fixes for this problem okay so the first thing that you can do to fix this problem if you have done everything that i've said before is going over onto your settings then click on system, then click on power and sleep. Then at the right, you wanna click on additional power settings. Once you have this window, uh, what you wanna do is go ahead and click on change plan settings for the plan that you have selected. So let me click on change plan settings right over here. And then click on change advanced power settings. Then what you wanna do is scroll down until you see PCI Express, expand it, and then expand link state power management. And make sure this setting is turned off. Now what this does is um, if you have a power saving um a power saving like power plan what this will do is once your gpu uses too much power it will basically turn it off so that that could be pro causing your problem because it just turns off your gpu so that makes sense that you are getting a black screen so once you've turned this off and if it was already turned off for you that this will probably not be uh the reason why you're getting a black screen but if this was turned on just go ahead and turn it off click on apply and click ok you can close out of this then and see whether you still get a black screen or not now Another thing that could be could be fixing this problem is once you have that black screen, go ahead and click on Control Shift Windows and B at the same time. Now, what this will do is it will basically restart your graphics driver and just give it give it a quick reset, and maybe your screen will pop back up. And if it doesn't, yeah, you are you probably have like an an, an issue with your GPU or with um your game or whatever you are doing. But something else that could be fixing this problem for some 
some people um i've seen it i've seen some people actually saying that this fixed it for them is actually going over into your game or the software that you are using usually it's in a game and head over into the settings and turn the settings into windowed borderless what this what this does is is um it basically looks the same as a full screen um game but it's it's actually windowed but scaled up to a full screen so once you switch in between tabs and stuff it's much it's 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 really just much smoother and just go ahead and try to put it onto window borderless and maybe that will fix your problem and if that still didn't uh, fix your problem uh, I'd say that you probably have a GPU issue or an issue with your motherboard and maybe just go ahead and order a new GPU. Some good GPUs will be in the description. It could also be a broken monitor or a broken HDMI cable. Those will be mentioned in the description as well. And if this video was helpful, go ahead and leave a like and comment down below. See you guys in the next video. Peace out.